Are we gonna cut their salaries? That's really what I what I what I've been feeling from from what I'm hearing. Here. They think that you guys are gonna cut their salaries. That's why they're going through all this, and they figure, well, we can't do nothing. But I think we're going to do something. If we go to court, it just move on. We had that conversation up there. We said, well, no one benefits by going to court, but we don't, they're giving us no choice now. Well, we got to move, on, move on because we're not going to continue to to not. That don't make no sense. I'm going to sit down on that. Uh, I want to move the agenda, then I want to hear from the public. So let's go to uh, welcome the new council members and the clerk of council. Some brief remarks, and we'll just move on. And I need to get that from you. I didn't see you real well. I had a question. So, Calvin, you want to say something briefly? Good evening. My name is Calvin Irby. I am chair over general service. And that means your sewers, your street lights, your uh, public utilities your waters, your uh, stormwater projects, uh, I chair that board. I uh, guarantee to people I will do the best I can, and I am out here. I do respond when I'm called by the residents, and I'm chairman at large. So if you need me, call me, 216-280-8381. And you can get my number after the meeting, 216-280-8381. Thank you. Devin Branch. Councilman Devin Branch. Council President. Thank you. Members of the audience, um, thank you for all that you've done to create the situation that allowed us to be in these seats. We're only here because of the democratic vote of the people of East Cleveland to remove the people who once sat in these seats. We have right now a problem of individuals who refuse to accept the democratic will of the people of East Cleveland, for whom democracy is only acceptable when their candidates are electable <laughs> and when they get their will. However, I think that I'm a little bit more optimistic in some respects than perhaps some others, that what we have here is what, seem, what we seem to have here is an attempt to challenge the legitimacy of the government of the city of East Cleveland. This is an unfortunate development. However, we've been through more challenging circumstances before. That's right. They want to see us angry and fighting. We don't have to. That's right. We can be calm. What they can never change is that the remaining two members of the council following the recall election, the majority of, that remaining mem two of the remaining members of council following the recall election, Nathaniel Martin, Barbara Thomas. That's two of three. That's a majority. <coughs> that can't be changed. Um, <coughs> I do again find it unfortunate that one can't just accept and trust in the word of an elected official of the city of East Cleveland. Not just as an elected official, but just as a man. You give your word to another person and you say, I will be there. One expects that you'll be there. Not just that's even in private affairs, let alone one is responsible for the governing of a city, a city facing significant challenges. So with that, I would just like to say uh, thank you all for coming. I think we are showing them a very good example of peace. This room is peaceful. We are peaceful. Our efforts to create these spaces were peacefully construed right. and carried out from beginning to end. Absolutely. Uh, stay calm. Stay cool, we got this. One way or the other, we'll win this, and we'll move the city forward. And we've had very positive developments that you see in the new business, but one thing I'd like to say in closing is that we've also seen, uh, I don't know if you all have known it, but there was announced, it was reported today, yes. that the Ohio EPA yes. shut down. has ordered the shutting down, down of the but dump don't. on Noble Road. Yes. <laughs> So, we don't have the full details, but the thing is this, it as they have conspired to put negativity in the news, in spite of their conspiracy, positive developments happen. Mm -hmm. As they conspired to say that we would have chaos in spite of that conspiracy, what we have is order. Peace. 
So let's continue to move forward in a calm and orderly fashion, and we'll reach, we'll, we'll find the conclusion, we'll reach a successful conclusion to this problem, as we have to other problems in the past. Thank you all, thank you for the time. With that, I, I conclude. Thank you, Councilman Grant. Our clerk, Tracy Peters, you want to say a few things you um, want to say? I'm glad to be back. Please just call me Tracy. With me. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, um, like before, whatever you need, I'll get it right to you. Um, if you want the agenda's emailed to you, just contact me. You don't have to go through the Facebook thing or anything. I will make sure everybody gets agendas to everything. I do have five bosses. I make sure that they are all kept informed. So if you can't get a hold of one, get a hold of me and I will get a hold of them. Um, some of you know me from the past. I will even call you after 5 o'clock. Council office will be open 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, as per the order. And as people know before, I very rarely left from in the office because the business of the day is most important. And I see that we have a lot of work moving ahead. And I'm in it for the long haul. Um, all the residents have always treated me wonderful. I consider you family, and I've missed everybody, and I'm just glad to be back. Yes, go ahead, Jim. I, 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 I want to make an announcement. I just want to say real quick, Tracy Peters is not a volunteer. But I'm not having her sitting up here and she's not getting paid. Okay, but she's doing what she can from her home. Okay? But they would not, not only would it not get her on payroll, this is what we're dealing with, but Calvin Irby, Councilman Calvin Irby, and Councilman Devin Branch are not on payroll. That's what, this is, this is what's going on. Uh, which is really unfair and not right. So it's my hope that once we resolve this, it's gonna be retroactive to January 2nd of 2017. That's the proper way it should be done, because we did it right. Okay, so they're controlling the finance, they're controlling the law director, things that we can't be out of our control to a large extent. And they're not here to answer for a whole lot of this, but so much of it makes common sense. Okay, Barbara. Well, um, everybody know where I come from. Okay. I come from labor. Mm -hmm. We start off people. We try to do everything we can. Uh -huh before we take it to the picket line. And I'm ready for the picket line. I know you all have got to do what you think is best. But we have went beyond all the hands and shaking. I'm not going to bow. I'm not going to scrape. I'm not going to kiss. I'm ready to fight. And there's more than one way to fight besides boxing. You fight legally. And when you go legally, you know what you're talking about when you go. My eyes and my teeth are going to be crossed. And I just want you to know, I'm not one of those people that sit back and say, oh well, there's nothing we can do. Like what Mr. O'Mays has said, and he sat by me a many times when I first came into office. And he punched me every time that I...